Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will compare fractions. Fractions with the same denominator means that the fraction with the larger numerator is greater. What does that mean? Let's take a look here. We have four, six, and two, six. It says that fractions with the same denominator, so they both have a denominator of six, the fraction with the larger numerator, four is larger than two, is greater. So four six is greater than two six. Let's take a look at a model. We have one, two, three, four, six, and here we have one, two, six. We notice that four six are greater than two six. Fractions with the same numerator. We notice that two eighths and two fourths have the same numerator of two. Now, the fraction with the smaller denominator, which would be the four, is greater. Let's see why that is. Two eighths, one eighth, two eighths, two fourths, one fourth, two fourths. We know that fourths are actually bigger than eighths. And if we have two of each one, then we know that fourths will be bigger. So we have two eighths and eighths are smaller and then we have two fourths again but we know fourths are bigger than eighths so remember same denominator we look at the numerator and if you have the same numerator then you can look at the denominator whatever denominator is smaller is actually the greater fraction fourths are bigger or greater than eighths let's practice fractions with the same denominator this fraction has a denominator of six, and this fraction has a denominator of six. The fraction with the larger numerator is greater. Four is greater or larger than the two, so four sixths is greater than two sixths. Let's take a look at a model. One, two, three, four, five, six equal parts of a whole, and we have one, two, three, four of them. Six equal parts of a whole, and we have one, two of them. We can see that four six is greater than just two six. Let's look here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts with four of them shaded. So four six. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, same denominator, but only two of them are shaded. We can clearly see that four six is greater than two six. Here we have a number line from zero to one whole. Let's label four six. On this number line, we have zero to one whole broken up into six equal parts because it's the same denominator and we only have two six. We can see on this number line that four six is greater than two six. Let's compare three eighths to five eighths. We know that they have the same denominator, eight. Now let's look for the larger numerator, which will be the greater fraction. 5 is greater than 3, so 5 eighths is greater than 3 eighths. Or we can say 3 eighths is less than 5 eighths. Let's create a model. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 equal parts. We have 1, 2, 3 eighths of them. Here we have another whole with 8 equal parts, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. We can clearly see that 3 eighths is less than 5 eighths. Here we have 3 out of 8, or 3 eighths. Same denominator, 8 equal parts, but we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 eighths. We can see that 5 eighths is greater than 3 eighths, and we can see that 3 eighths is less than 5 eighths. Here we have 0 to 1 whole broken up into 8 equal parts because the denominator is 8. We need 1 two, three eighths. Here we have zero to one whole. We have the same denominator, which is eight, and we need five eighths. One, two, three, four, five eighths. We can see that five eighths is greater than three eighths. Fractions with the same numerator. This time, we're looking at the numerator. We notice that the denominators are different, but the numerators are the same which means now we need to look for the smaller denominator, which will be the greater fraction. Let's see which denominator is smaller. The five is smaller, which means that four fifths is actually greater than four sixths. 
Let's see why. Let's model four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need one, two, three, four out of six. Now we need fifths. We notice that fifths are larger in size than sixths. One, two, three, four. The numerator is four for both. But because fifths are greater in size, four fifths is greater than four sixths. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts with four shaded. Here we have one, two, three, four, same numerator out of five. We can see that four sixths is less than four fifths. Here we have zero to one whole broken up into six equal parts because the denominator is six. We need four sixths. Now we need a number line broken up into five equal parts and we need the same numerator, which is four. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. We notice that four fifths is greater than four sixths because fifths are greater in size than sixths. And if we have the same amount of each, then we know four fifths are greater. Three fourths compared to three eighths. We notice they have the same numerator. Remember, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Is the four or the eight smaller? The four is smaller, which means three fourths is actually greater than three eighths. Let's model three fourths. One, two, three, four equal parts. And we have one, two, three, fourths of the whole. This whole has eight equal parts and we have three of them. One, two, three. Same numerator, different denominator. Eighths are smaller than fourths. Fourths are greater than eighths. Three fourths, three eighths. We notice three fourths is greater than three eighths. This number line is broken up into four equal parts. The numerator is three. One, two, three fourths. This number line goes from zero to one whole broken up into eight equal parts. Same numerator, which is three. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths. Three fourths is much bigger than three eighths. <laughs>